India's threat perception in cyberspace is primarily linked to the two uh, adversaries that it has uh, up north, which is basically Pakistan and China, and much of the cybersecurity threats actually uh, emanate uh, from them. So, if you look at the top three uh, cyber threats, the first threat is essentially the threat against critical uh, infrastructure. Now, initially uh, in 2009 and 10, when India faced one of the first known cyber attacks against its critical infrastructure, was when the Stuxnet virus hit the Iranian nuclear program, and the virus basically uh, targeted uh, India's pipelines, India's power grids, as well as some of the other critical infrastructure. The infections to the critical infrastructure were minor, but that nonetheless made uh, policymakers aware about this uh, threat. And since then, India has taken a number of steps to protect its critical infrastructure. And over the years, that threat has taken the form of China targeting India's critical infrastructure. So that's one of the uh, first threat to the to, the, uh, to when it comes to India's cybersecurity. The second threat is essentially what you mentioned, the cybercrime. Now, over the years, again, cybercrimes have become advanced, but uh, the key factor for India is also the digitization or digitalization of its payment systems that have happened over the last five, six years. And that has opened up avenues for cybercrimes because much of the Indian population, which is using the digital payment systems, is also the first generation internet user. And therefore, they are also unaware of the kind of cybersecurity threats which face the digital payment systems and that has opened up avenues for cyber crime along with that is also what we're seeing is the surge in the ransomware uh, in incidents which is also affecting a lot of the businesses so that's the second uh, cyber security threat and third is essentially what I look at uh, is uh, I mean in, in fact I would say third and fourth would be basically the dark web uh, and uh, the fourth would be the propaganda or the disinformation operations which happen again uh, from Pakistan and China. Now, when it comes to dark uh, space, uh, dark web, essentially there are three uh, threats emanating from the dark web. One is the threat of cyber crime because much of the stolen personal and financial data has ended up on the dark web, which is available for the cyber criminals to uh, utilize. The second threat is in terms of the the sale of the drugs and the narcotic substances because about 90% of the listings on the dark net marketplaces are of narcotics and if you look at India's geography, India is essentially situated between the golden triangle and the golden crescent, the, the, the two most drug uh, trafficking hubs. So that itself accentuates the threat emanating from the narcotic sale on the dark net marketplaces and third is the use of the dark net by the terrorist uh, organizations for the propaganda and fundraising uh, activities. And the fourth is essentially the overall propaganda and disinformation operations that we have seen uh, from Pakistan and China in the cyberspace over the last 10 years.